Hey guys, for the next couple of videos, I'll be talking about generating functions. And generating functions is just another way of counting things. So let's say we have one ice cream sandwich, one apple, and one blackberry. So how many ways can we select one, two, three, or none? Well, the usual way we do this is for none or for one, we have three objects and choose one. For two, three, choose two and 3 choose 3 and she 3 choose 0. This is how we usually do it but in this case we're trying to do it generating functions so this is not the way uh, we're gonna go around with it but in the end we're gonna get the same answer so the way we do generating functions is the way I like to think about it is it's a yes or no kind of question so a 1 denotes a no and an x denotes 1 x squared denotes 2, x cubed denotes 3, and so on and so forth. So in this case here, if we're trying to select 1, so that for the ice cream sandwich we can either not select it or select it once. For an apple, we can not select it or select it once. For a blackberry, we can not select it or select it once. And if you expand this term here, you'll get 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. Alright, well, how do those two actually relate? Those two here. Alright, so if you look at it, then if we want 1, so how many ways can we select one object? Well, we just go to where x has a power of 1. And here we have 3, so we can select 3 ways. And notice that 3 choose 1 is indeed equal to 3. If you, have, if you want 2, that will be equal to the coefficient where x is equal to 2. And that is also equal to 3. If you, have, uh, if you want to select 3 objects, that's right here. You have 1, since there is nothing here. You have 3 choose 3, which is equal to 1. If you want none, then you go where x is 0. And here you have 1 also, and that's 1. So you have one way of selecting um, zero objects, three of selecting one, three of selecting two, and one of selecting three objects. And this is how we do it generate a functions way. Okay, so here's an example of setting up the problem and understanding how they work. So if you have, find the polynomial in power series for the following. You can always find a polynomial, but you can't always find the, find the power series. So to find the power series, you have to make sure that you have no upper limit. So over here, you have no upper limit. And that implies that you can have a power series. But over here, you have there is a limit, upper limit, which is 4. So you cannot have a power series. So no power series. Okay, so... How do you translate this into generating functions? So you have c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 plus c5 equals to 30. And our conditions are um, c1 is between 2 and 4, and every other ci is between 3 and 8. Alright, no problem. So for a, you have c1 is between 2 and 4. So for c1, you can select it twice, or three times, or four times. And that's our C1 term. So this is C1. Alright, well, the rest, you have C2, C3, C4, and C5, are between 3 and 8. So you can select it 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, 7, or 8. So that takes care of C2. But since C2, C3, C4, and C5 are the same, then we just raise it to the power of 4 since we have 4 coefficients here 1, 2, 3, 4 that all follow the same rule and that takes care of C2, C3, C4 and C5 and that will be equal to x to the power of 30 so that takes care of part A now for part B you have the same 
question but with different conditions so you have um, all all the all the numbers are less than zero less than or equal to zero and there is no upper limit and c2 is even and c3 is odd all right so let's take care of the cases where there is no restriction which is um, c1 c4 and c5 okay well they start from zero so you, they they can appear zero times or once or twice or three times and so on to infinity notice that it's an infinity because there is no upper limit for part a we had to stop when c was four and when c was eight but for this case there is no stopping and that will be raised to the power of three since we're taking taking care of three of the c's okay now we have to do c2 and c3 well c2 is even so you can only have even numbers so you have you can select it x squared so actually one because x to the zero is even plus x squared plus x to the fourth so you can select it zero times two four times six times and all the way to infinity as long as it's even so that's C2 and C3 is odd so you can select it once or three times or five times or seven times and so on to infinity and this is generating functions and also this is equal to x to the power of 30 okay so determine the generating function for the number of ways to distribute 35 pennies from an unlimited supply among five children all right so first of all you have five children so you have c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 plus c5 okay and that will be equal to 35 since you have 35 pennies to distribute all right so for part a you have no restrictions so a no restrictions so there is no upper limit there and the lower limit is zero so that will be equal to one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of four but all the way to infinity to the power of five and that will be equal to x to the power of 35 so that's the number of ways with no restrictions so each each child can either get um, zero pennies one two three four and you can you can write it all the way up to 35 but since there is no upper limit then um, it's, it's okay to pick to just leave in this form here alright so part B is each child gets at least one penny so you have X that will be one penny plus X squared plus X cubed all the way till X to the power of 35 and that will be to the power of 5 okay and you can actually write this in power, power series so x squared plus x cubed all the way to infinity so that's the difference here you have a polynomial so this part here polynomial but the lower part here is a power series and the power series goes up to infinity alright so now we have part C and part C says that the oldest child gets at least 10 cents alright so you're gonna set up the, uh, the oldest child first so you have the oldest child gets at least 10 so plus x11 all the way till x35 multiplied by okay so now we have 10 cents missing and the rest of the children there are four other children they can get either none or one or two all the way up till x25 to the power of four because we removed 10 cents from here you cannot have 35 cents given to the other kids and that will be equal to x to the power of 35 So this is generating functions and for the next couple of videos we'll go through it step by step and I'm hoping to make it very simple. 
So uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And we've actually created a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and a Google Plus page. So I'll post the links on the video. I hope this video made some sense, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.